Welcome back for another episode of the Trans Atheist with Ariane and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Let's go to Ari in Ohio. Ari, welcome. Hello, thank you, Bishop. First time caller. Great, Ari. Welcome to the program. Thanks. Um, just kind of wanted to mention, you know, I know all across the country we're seeing things um, like the SAFE Act. Uh, I know here in Ohio it's been introduced by Gary Click. And, you know, growing up in the South, you know, part of the thing that was instilled in me both as, you know, a value of America and a value of Christianity itself was respect for each other. And when we have programs like this that constantly demonize trans people, we don't see respect there. I think it's shameful the way that we've done with trying to make trans people the target so that we can get out of the fact that Republicans have no solutions for problems. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, well, Ari, thank you for the call. But look, <laughs> so here, here's the thing about that, folks. Christians didn't start the controversy over trans anything. We've been believing the way we've been believing for 2,000 years. And then along comes somebody says, well, guess what? Your child's not a boy. Your child's not a girl. Uh, that's just a, an assignment by a stupid doctor who's and, and telling children all he could do was guess. I mean, yeah, Ari, the controversy is on the gender confused people, the sexually perverse people, the sexually immoral people, the godless people, the anti-Christian people who want to fight to transform the society to reflect their own amorality and their own godlessness and their own anti-Christian bigotry. And so, yeah, are we standing up against it? You better believe it and not apologizing for it. Thank you for the call. Let's go to Cindy in Texas. Cindy, welcome. Hi, I'm just trying to be a little funny now, but if a seven-year-old can make major decisions about themselves, every school zone area needs to be taken up. You know, where you have to cross the street and sometimes go through <laughs> long school zone areas. Yeah, well, listen, Cindy, there's a whole lot of things that need to change if seven-year-olds are now going to be making life-changing decisions for themselves. And by the way, if they can make these decisions for, the decisions for themselves, they're making these decisions for their families as well. Because yes, if you sir. can, right? So, I mean, so let's just... We'd be so much better off if we had seven-year-olds running the world. <laughs> so, yes, Cindy, yes, thank, you. thank you for the call, Cindy. I'm, a, I'm out of time. We appreciate the call. Uh, look, folks, it, you have to laugh at some of this stuff because it is insane. Of course, it's tragic. It has tragic implications. So we have to, we have to be willing to, to fight it very, very seriously because of the tragic implications that it has. But it, but it is just bat crazy, isn't it? Well, look, that's going to do it for this week. I hope that all of you are preparing for an absolutely fabulous weekend. 